This is a warning. Keep any breakable controllers out of reach because Game Ranks is about to go over the 10 things FIFA 16 players hate. We start with number 10, set pieces. Specifically, the lack of options for customization when it comes to them. In FIFA 14, you used to be able to set custom formations and runs for players on corners and free kicks, and although it began to be abused and exploited after a while online, removing that option really affected strategy in other offline game modes. Furthermore, it'd be nice to be able to customize the defensive side of free kicks as well, to prevent things like this half pyramid of failure from allowing opponents an easy shot on goal, especially since fouls and free kicks have become so much more common in FIFA 16. Number 9. Now, this is for the more hardcore FIFA player. You may have noticed quite a few small changes in controls this year, but the one sticking out as a problem to many players is the player switching. A feature that seemed streamlined and totally not broken in past years has been changed. The simple right bumper or R1 switch has been tossing control to many players who are barely within earshot of the action, let alone close enough to make an impact. Using the right stick to switch players also feels a lot slower and less responsive than past iterations as well. Oh, and don't even ask me about the auto switching. You're better off just turning that whole mess off. Number 8. Player collisions have been an issue ever since EA Sports introduced the Ignite engine into FIFA 14. But now, instead of vaulting players into hilarious tackles on teammates, upgraded ball physics just ensures you'll never get possession of the ball so long as two defenders are around it simultaneously. Number 7 is kind of related to number 8. Defensive AI mistakes are becoming way more abundant and really, really annoying. Oh, he's put it into his own net! Own goals, missed passes, goalie punches that go straight to an opponent. These mistakes can easily take a game to atmospheric levels of terrible. If you want to cut down on these, I suggest simply clearing the ball anytime you get it as a defender on your side of the pitch. Okay, maybe that's going a little bit overboard, but you get the point. Now, the only thing that could possibly make an own goal like this one even more infuriating is number six. Messages like this. I'm glad you thought my own goal was so funny. Thanks. I appreciate the chat, jerk. Now, if you're the kind of person that sends these messages, just, just stop, like now. The irony is, most of the time, the same super hilarious middle school comedians sending these messages are the same players who also populate our number five spot. Number five, this slot is dedicated to pointless skill moves guy. And before you get all upset, this isn't a statement of me sucking terribly at FIFA, nor is it a complaint against players who can Ronaldo chop past me in their sleep. No, this is about Captain Crossover who decides that his super epic rainbow flick totally blew your socks off from 20 yards away. These are the skill spammers who think they need to dodge not only your defender, but every single blade of grass between your defender and them. Hilariously enough, once they actually get to an opposing player, taking the ball off them is so easy, you don't even have to hit the tackle button. Number four. Now, it's one thing to get beaten by someone online, but in offline mode, it can be especially frustrating when you're playing with, oh, Manchester United, and Aston Villa tears you a new one in an important match. But when that happens, be sure not to get too mad, especially if you have a Kinect or something like it, because EA Sports are really cracking down this year when it comes to the stop being a loud fat idiot or we'll fire you messages in career mode. You know what? If I want to be able to tell the ref and then I should be able to, damn it. What's the referee going to do now? Because he's dealt with the player. He's got a manager to deal with as well. He's absolutely livid. Setting the best example you could argue to his players. Okay, all right, number four probably has some sort of good reasoning behind it when it comes to me yelling at the TV. I'll try to stop doing that. But as far as number three is concerned, it really makes it hard to stop that because number three is the refs. Need I say more? Oh, I, I do need to? Oh, okay, well, for starters, what's with all the cards this year? And look, I know what you're saying. Get good, scrub. Well, damn it, I'm not the only one. Although, I guess it is technically more realistic to have the ref ruin the outcome of the game, right? All right, number two. 
This is a big one. Latency issues, disconnects, all the stuff that was wrong online in FIFA 15 seems far worse somehow in 16. Tons of complaints and even an official acknowledgement from EA that disconnects costing many FIFA Ultimate Team players to post losses to the record are currently being worked on. And further than that, latency issues have extended to all online modes, especially disconnects in Ultimate Team. Watch out for this wonderful screen after the whistle blows in your Ultimate Team match. You'll learn to love it or you'll break all the silverware in your house out of frustration. Either way, if you haven't seen it, consider yourself very fortunate. All right, guys, we're down to it. The last one, number one, it's time to get serious. Probably one of the most egregious, despicable, frustrating moves in all of FIFA. It's written first in the unspoken FIFA rulebook of being a good sport. The only exception is when a goal of superhuman ability has been scored, but for any other, especially one putting me down like three in extra time, don't make me watch the replay of your crappy goal over and over and over again. It sucked and you suck and I hate this game. Why do I play it? Well, now that I've successfully broken every single controller located in my house, those have been the top 10 things FIFA 16 players hate. Did I miss one thing you especially hate? Let us know what it is in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button for more content like this. And if you love new awesome content every single day, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.